Welcome to the WK Burnouts. I'm Christina. And I'm Dustin. Alan, behind the scenes, keeping us in line. Oh, yeah. Today, Dustin, Mm -hmm. what kind of feature are we going to talk about today? I think we should talk about the lane change alert with side blind zone alert. We were trying to say that like. Yeah, yeah. I said it once. It's kind of a mouthful. (laughs) Lane change alert with side blind zone alert. Yes. Yes. So what exactly is lane change alert with side blind alert. Okay. So it's, it's two things together, you know, two makes one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the side blind zone alert is the little light on, uh, on your mirrors, one on the driver's mirror, one on the passenger's mirror. It's Mm -hmm. a little amber colored light with a star next to it. Mm -hmm. Um, and that part of the system is there to let you know if there is a vehicle in your blind spot on Mm -hmm. either side of your car. And that's indicated by, the little amber light with the car and the star on it on the mirror being illuminated. When that's illuminated, that means there is a car in your blind spot. Yes. Now, I guess to backtrack just a little bit, how do you know you have this feature? Do you have those little things, uh, those little icons on your mirrors? Mirrors. Well, you don't have to be driving down the road and get somebody in your blind spot to test it out. (laughs) When you turn the car on, Mm -hmm. right, just like the lights on the dash, Mm -hmm. those will illuminate also. See them there. Okay, cool. So I do have that. Great. How do I turn it on? Mm-hmm. Uh, did you can you can turn it off or on in the infotainment uh, system settings. In your settings, yes, yeah. yeah. So and that's that's uh, but you know you have it if you have the the uh, the amber, amber lit amber lit things icons on your mirrors. So side blind zone <laughs> alert show on either side uh, mm-hmm. if there's a vehicle in your blind zone. Now the uh, lane change alert part is kind of like s- step two. General Motors, at least, has multiple steps to this mm-hmm. with the that go all the way up to where it, it steers and brakes the vehicle for you. It gives you audible vibrate or audible tones and seat vibrations and stuff yeah. like that. There's- this is the more common, the more common one that, mm-hmm. that's on the vast, vast majority of our of our vehicles. Right. So um, it uses radar in the rear bumper. OK. Um, So a lot of people think it's on their mirror or something like that. It's not. The light is on your mirror. The radar is in the back corners of the rear bumper. Okay. That being said, if you have like a trailer hitch mounted bike rack and bikes back there, Mm -hmm. it's probably going to put a a thing on your screen that says, hey, side blind zone not available at this time. Right. Because the sensors are obscured. Same thing if you have a trailer. Mm -hmm. It'll be like, hey, this isn't. uh, It's unavailable at this time. This is not going to work right now. Yeah. 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 Okay. And so the lane departure or. No, lane change alert part. Yes. Yeah. So, so that the second step of it with the lane change alert, when you turn your blinker on. Okay. Yes. So let's say we're driving down the road. Doo, 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 doo. Hey, be quiet back there, kids. You know, <laughs> driving along. You turn on your blinker. If there is someone in your blind zone or quickly approaching okay. your blind zone, mm-hmm. the amber light on your mirror will flash okay. and continue flashing. Okay. And remember, there's no audio, no vibration. No. It is just all in your mirrors. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, with these driver assistance mm-hmm. features, they're there to help. This mm-hmm. is more of a visual assistant. You have a mirror that you're supposed to use, yes. right? You have your eyes and turning your head mm-hmm. um, that, you know, mm-hmm. some of us can do. Can you, you got full rate? Oh. Oh, Christina he's going to make fun of me not being Trump. able to. Yeah. She's yeah. look like this. <laughs> yeah. But. Kink in my neck. Okay. Oh, just a permanent one. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so the side blind and lane departure helps me with this issue, but. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It is there to help. Help. It's not there to do it all for you. Mm-hmm. Now keep in mind, this system doesn't apply the brakes, doesn't mess with the steering wheel. Okay. And that that's important to, to keep in mind. Yeah. It's not going to do it for you. It's just right. there to help alert you if you are in a position where you could potentially, you know, pull a bonehead move and sideswipe somebody. Right. They did a University of Michigan study that said uh, mm-hmm. having this feature on the cars reduced uh, uh, sideswipe collisions by 18%. That's crazy. Yeah. Just from, I mean, because sometimes you think about, I mean, even just 
at a, you're at a stop sign or a stoplight and you're kind of looking, you know, and it, you don't see anybody mm-hmm. when you're going to turn. And then all of a sudden it's like, where did you look in your rearview mirror? And you're like, where did that vehicle come from? Nobody honked at me. So mm-hmm. I don't think it, you don't was, think it was your there. fault. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it can happen, you know, that quick. So yeah. this is definitely a great feature to help assist, you know, when you're in those, you know, situations, you're on the highway and you go to go over, you turn your blinker on and you see this flashing amber, you don't, know, icon. Don't <laughs> yeah. Don't go because yeah. it's not going to steer you back over. It's just going, it's going to just continue it's going to flash and tell you, Hey man, yeah. you, you've indicated to me the car that you are about to run me into something. So right. I'm going to tell you, <laughs> don't, don't do it yet. Yeah. Don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. Don't because do it there yet. is either someone there or someone quickly approaching. And you know, you kind of run into stuff like that out on the, out on the open road, you know, mm-hmm. you're on the interstate trucking along 75 miles an hour mm-hmm. and some people go a lot faster than that yeah. and you don't expect it when you're going that fast. Right. right? So you're, you're going a little above the, the speed limit and go to just kind of merge in mm-hmm. and out stuff mm-hmm. like that. First, you got to be using your blinker, right? We've talked about this. Yes. You know, some people, <laughs> especially people who get 24 out of 25 on the driving test practice uh, exam, they yeah. always use their blinker when changing lanes and yes. you know, it's important. It's a good habit to get into because the safety assistance features of your vehicle are designed. They don't know that you're intending to change lanes right. unless you put on your blinker. Right. So that's pretty yeah. important to do. And I know that the light being there and everything, you mm-hmm. can gain a lot of still use your blinker Yeah. because then the second step of the, the safety feature right. can actually work. Yeah. It can actually kick in and it, some things to remember. Uh, well, it does pick up motorcycles. Yeah. Um, and remember it is on your rear bumper, so it is not looking at things that are in front of you. So, but it does not pick up pedestrians. It does not pick up scooters. Um, it may, you know, when you're go- like trees and stuff does not pick up. However, if your vehicle is not clean or it is, you have film on it or dust or dirt or something, it will not. It could, it could affect it. Yeah. yeah. It, like it, a thick it, layer of mud would definitely affect it. Yeah. You know, a bunch of snow and ice pat. That's where we really see it mm-hmm. is in the wintertime when mm-hmm. it's snow and ice packed to the right behind the rear wheels. Right. That yeah. those situations can definitely make it so that the system is just like, man, we're not even going to help you right now. You're on your yeah. own. Yeah. Or you, you know, you're driving and you're like, why does that keep flashing? Or it's because there's something that's obstructing that that view. Sorry, Alan. I hit oh, the mic. Gosh, oh gosh, gosh, he's he's gonna yell at oh, me. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Okay. Um, <laughs> so yes, uh, another another important thing. Okay, mm-hmm. think about this in the grand scheme of things. A lot of people take minor bumper scuffs, uh, and they either don't care or mm-hmm. they're like, "Hey, I'm gonna have cousin Billy. He's real good with a spray can, and it's mm-hmm. white anyhow. He'll mm-hmm. get it all fixed up. He'll paint match Dude. it. Yeah, right. It." <laughs> If that collision in some way made it so that your system had the message come up that it was inoperable, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, you need to get it fixed right, right for that for that system to work, and that it could entail either straightening or replacing the sensors behind the behind yeah. the bumpers. So, and a lot of those sensors, like if you just walk around your car, like unless you're really looking for them, you probably don't really know where they are. But on some of the radar stuff, doesn't even have to have a visible front yeah. to it it can go it goes through the plastic yeah so i mean there, there's a lot of them that don't even have a, a visible mm-hmm. thing you can you can see it's just tucked in back behind there right so it's always great and the best situation to just get it done professionally you know yeah, yeah. i mean generally yeah. if you've got any kind of an <clears throat> error on there you mm-hmm. should uh you should definitely you know, get the whole thing fixed not just catch up the paint yeah absolutely and Otherwise, I mean, we're just we want to make sure that you guys are keen on the features that are available on your vehicles, because some people like we were just talking about this before we started recording, like on my car. I know I have it, but I don't know that I've really ever paid attention. So I need to go in my settings and make sure that I it's turned on, because if it was turned off at any point, it'll stay it'll stay off. Yeah. 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 It remembers its last setting even after key cycles, unlike a lot of other features on the cars. This this is one that if you turn it off, off. Mm -hmm. it doesn't just turn itself back on. So once it's off, it's off. You can just, you know, select to turn it on Mm -hmm. and then it will be on moving forward. Yeah. But anything else that you think talking about the uh, sideline? Other than the, you know, 
pretty generic disclaimer that, hey, you know, safety is is up to you, you. folks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pay attention to what you're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, use your signals because I mean, it's the right thing to do. Yeah. Especially for somebody that gets 24 out of 25 on the driving test practice exam. Well, um, you know, I thought I would take that just because I am like pretty proud of it. I, I kind of get road rage a little bit. So so you want to make sure you're right when you're getting mad at somebody. Exactly. If you're going to throw something out of the window, you don't want it to be a mistake. Right. Yeah. You wanna, yeah. I am in the right legally, morally. <laughs> yeah. So I thought I'm just going to take this just to see where I'm at. And the one that I missed was was silly. I don't even remember what it was, but I remember thinking, are you kidding me? But, um, you know, these things are important and features that. I mean, you're paying good money for a vehicle. And if there's features on that vehicle that you don't know you have one or don't know the benefit or why you should be paying attention to it, you don't see the value in your vehicle. So yeah. therefore, at a later time, when you go to upgrade or trade in or sell or whatever the case may be, you're not going to look for that feature on another vehicle because True. you don't notice how important it is. You know, a, a really good example of that is the customer that comes in and says, Hey, you know, I've got all this stuff on my new vehicle. I don't, I don't, I don't want any of this stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to use any of it. Mm -hmm. That same person, when they get with us and we can actually explain to them how their feature, this has happened dozens of times, mm -hmm. right? Well, I don't like that side blind zone. Mm -hmm. Well, do you know how it works? Ah, there's a light that comes on. Okay, dude, let's talk about this. Mm -hmm. By the end of the conversation, he's like, good grief. Well, I got to have that. Yeah. Well, you do. Good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some yeah. stuff, just having a, a real good explanation mm -hmm. of not like the, the written down, this is the feature. This is how right. I use it in real life, how you right. use it in real life and how we may, you know, use it to make our drive easier or better. Right. You know, yeah. there's a lot of people that didn't want any kind of backup camera on their car forever. That was me. And those yeah. are the same people that now are like, well, I got to have the 360. I got to have the 360 <laughs> degree with top down view. Yeah. Just saying, once you yeah. know how to use it and you're comfortable with it, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's not a waste. Mm -mm. It's pretty good stuff. No, but the backup camera is a perfect example because yeah. I was one of them. I was like, I don't know why people think that they have to have this. Like, this is ridiculous. And I had my 2012 Malibu didn't have it. I'm like, yes, you know, and then now <laughs> I'm getting the mal. If I take Zane's car, I'm like, Just crash into stuff i'm like <laughs> how is a teenager supposed to learn how to drive in this thing <laughs> can't see anything out the back <laughs> yeah so perfect example but we want to go through like like i said and make sure that you understand the features and know what um, features are on your vehicle so if you're watching this and you have questions about a feature mm -hmm. whether you have it don't have it don't know you yeah. know um drop it in the comments let us know so we can you know go through those and and uh walk you through yeah. Happy to help. Yeah. But uh, as always, we appreciate your support and uh, please like, subscribe and share. You never know. Your neighbor may be looking for this information. Um, and as always, we will cruise on by and pick you up next week. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. This has been a WK Burnouts production.